guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to be making a simple video on how to cut and sew your jacket okay now this is one of the most requested video and i'm so happy to put up this video if you have any question or any video you want us to make kindly put that in the comment section and i'm going to do just that so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your jacket and this form of jacket usually have zip zip at the front okay so we're having your zip at the front in this form of jacket and i hope you guys are excited now we have our shoulder measurement bust waist and our top length now we'll go ahead now and calculate our measurement our shoulder measurement is 18 18 divided by 2 we have 9 our bust is 44 44 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 13 our waist is 42 42 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 12.5 our top length is 24 so 24 plus 2 inches we have 26 inches now our half length which is basically from your shoulder to your waist we have 18 inches so we'll go ahead now and add one inch for our sewing allowance plus one we have 19 inches so for the basic top that is from our shoulder to our waistline we have 19 inches which is going to be where we are going to have our basic top okay now for the lower part which is going to be pleating now we have our top length which is 24 inches minus 19 we have 5 inches okay 24 inches which is our top length minus our half length which is 19 inches we have 5 plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance we have 7 inches don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on trainings are available both online training and physical training and all the details are going to be in the description box below so let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial what we are going to do now for our jacket is to go ahead and mark our basic measurements okay so we have shoulder to bust shoulder to bust 10 inches shoulder to arm o nine and a half shoulder to under bust 14 and a half and then we have our shoulder to half length which is 18 inches so once I'm done with that, I will go ahead with my pattern master, which is available, and I will now the back block first. Now we we'll go ahead and mark our dart measurements, which is four and a half, on our waistline to mark our dart measurements, and then we we'll connect the lines together. So on the waistline, we we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. Once we are done, we we'll go ahead now and connect it to our bust line. So this is what we are going to have. So we'll go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurement, which is 9 inches. We'll mark our bust measurement, which is 13. And then we'll mark our waist measurement, which is 12.5. Now we'll go ahead and connect it together. Make use of our arm o curve, which comes in our pattern set. We we'll connect our bust line to our shoulder line. Now, because what we want to achieve is basically just... Now, the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our shoulder, our neckline. Three inches for our neckline. And for the back block, I'm going to make it of one inch. I'll connect my lines together. Now, on my arm o line, I will go ahead and mark half inch for my shoulder slope and then I'll connect it together. Once we are done with that, this is what we are going to have. The next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out. After cutting it out, this is what we are going to have for the back block. Front block now, we have our basic line. Because we are going to have our zipper at the front, so we are going to 
measure our zip allowance which will be in the front block instead of the back block like a regular blouse so now we're going to go ahead and measure our zip allowance and we're making of two inches for the zip allowance go ahead now and mark our two inches once we are done with that we'll go ahead and connect the lines together So this is what we are going to have. We'll go ahead now and mark our dart line which is 4.5. On our waistline we'll mark our dart measurement which is 4.5. Once you are done with that, you go ahead and connect the lines together. On the waistline now, you will go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. And then you connect the lines together so this is what we are going to have once you are done with that you go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurement which is 9 inches we we'll mark our bust measurement which is 13 our waist measurement which is 12.25 once we are done with that we we'll go ahead and connect the lines together this is what we are going to have. We we'll also make use of our arm or curve and connect our bust to shoulder line. Now, the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your neckline after your zip allowance. So for the neckline, we are making use of 3 inches. And for the deepness of our neckline, we are making use of 3 inches. Go ahead now and connect the lines together. This is what we have. On our arm O, we'll go ahead and mark half inch for our shoulder slope. And then we connect the lines together. So, once you are done, the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out. So guys, after cutting it out, this is what we have. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and transfer it to our fabric. So guys, I'm making use of this African print and African prints are available both in wholesale and in retail prices. You can see how beautiful our African print is. So the next thing we are going to do now is to fold our fabric into two, cutting it out. Place your front block on your fabric and then you go ahead and cut it out. After cutting it out, I'll show After cutting this out, for the front block now, you are going to have two pieces for the front block because our front blo block is going to have our zip. Now, back block also, we are going to fold our fabric into two. We'll go ahead now and place our pattern and then we'll cut this out. This is what we are going to have for our back block. We are basically going to have a single piece for the back block. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead now and cut out the lower part where we have our pleats. In order for you to know the amount of inches required for the lower side where we have our pleats, go ahead and multiply your waist measurement by 2.5 or by 3. So if you multiply your waist measurement by 3, you are going to have like a very full at the end of the day and you can also multiply your your waist measurements by 2.5 so I'm going to multiply my waist which is 42 times 3 so I'm going to have 128 inches 128 inches so I folded my fabric into two this way I folded my fabric into two this way so I have about three pieces coupled up together I have 128 inches now for the length of our pleats we have our top length to be 24 inches we have our top length to be 24 inches and for our half length for our half length we have 18 inches so you basically deduct your half length from your top length so if our top length is 24 inches our half length is 18 inches we have a total of 6 inches okay so for the wideness of our pleats now we are going to have 6 inches plus 2 inches for our hemming allowance so for the wideness this way I have 8 inches how will you achieve yours the wideness of yours go ahead and 
deduct your half length, which is your shoulder to your waist, from your top length. So if my top length is 24, my half length is 18, we have 24 minus 18, and then you go ahead and add 2 inches to it for your hemming allowance. Why for the length of the fabric, the amount of fabric required by the length, go ahead and multiply your waist measurement by 3, or multiply your waist measurement by 2.5. So my waist measurement is 42, multiplied by 3, I have 126 inches by 8. We are going to cut out now is our sleeve we'll go ahead now and fold our fabric into four after folding your fabric into four you go ahead and mark your round sleeve divided by two okay your round sleeve divided by two so my round sleeve is 16 divided by two i have eight plus two inches for my sewing allowance okay so i have 10 inches I'll go ahead now and mark this. At this point now, you go ahead and mark three and a half inches. Go ahead and mark three and a half inches. Okay, so you go ahead now and connect your curve and then you connect it to your, connect it to your round sleeve. So what we just did here was we went ahead to mark our round sleeve divided by two. At this point now, you mark three and a half inches. Once you are done with that, you go ahead and connect it to the upper part of your sleeve. And then you also connect it to your round sleeve. So guys, after cutting it out, this is what our sleeve looks like. So, so guys, the next thing we are going to do now is we've gone ahead now to cut out our lining for both the front block and the back block so we are going to go ahead now and place our lining this way once you are done with that you go ahead and stitch your neckline after stitching your neckline you stitch the side so you are basically making use of this lining to turn your fabric so you do the same for the back block and then guys, now this is what we have for the back block we've gone ahead now to turn it with our lining now don't forget to fix in your darts why for the front block where we have our two pieces because our zip is going to be in front so go ahead now and place your front block on your back piece this way make use of your bust measurement and your waist measurement to couple this up so once you are done you are going to have one single piece you're going to have one single piece this way and you discover that the front block is opened because of our zip now you are going to go ahead now with our fabric which you cut out for your pleating right you're going to go ahead now with your fabric which you cut out for your pleating and then you go ahead now and pleat it on the fabric this way so you just gather it up. You can make use of your gather's foot to gather this up. And gather's foot are available, okay? So you just go ahead now and gather this. Gather it up this way. So you just gather this up. You can see what it looks like, okay? You can see what it looks like. So you just go ahead and gather this up. So you can either use like a tiny... You can either... Pleat it to give you a tiny gather or a big gather. It depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day. So once you are done with that. So guys, now we've gone ahead to couple up our pleats to the main fabric. And the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and attach your sleeve. Once you are done with that, you are going to have a single piece this way. You can see that our jacket is almost ready. So you go ahead now with your zip. And then you fix in your zip to the front piece this way just to couple this up. So once I'm done with that, I'll show you guys what it looks like. And you can see for the lower parts, you can see our uh, pleating, how full it is. So let me go ahead now and... So guys, this is what we have. You can see our jacket, our zipper in front, and our pleats. This is so cute, guys. So let me know what you guys would love to rock your top with in the comment section. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, 
share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next bye. one bye, bye.